just a little update on the 737 MAX uh, return to service. Um, we have put uh, immense effort into bringing the airplane back to service. Uh, we have a comprehensive effort of over 400,000 engineering hours, uh, 1,400 tests and check flights that were flown, and 3,000 flight hours all of this before the first revenue flight flew uh, after the return to service. Uh, many regulatory approvals, uh, about a hundred, the airplane is, uh, is now um, flying through the airspace of, of over 160 uh, uh, countries uh, around the world. And it has a fleet of 182 uh, airplanes that are currently in service as of uh, a couple days ago. Uh, there are 20 airlines that are currently flying the airplane. We have flown, those 20 airlines have flown over 18,600 uh, revenue flights with over 42,000 flight hours. So the airplane is uh, doing very well in service currently. Um, and uh, we're excited to see more airplanes come back on board. Next slide, please. This was interesting, uh, looking at the average seat side, average uh, seats per India domestic flight and how that has changed over time. Uh, what I did is plotted uh, the average number of seats that we see in the domestic markets in India from 2009 through 2019. And we've seen a, a gradual uh, growth from about 158 seats in 2009 to about 175 seats in 2019. And this seating capacity fits very nicely within the 737 MAX family. Uh, with the 737-7 on the smaller size of the fleet with up to 172 seats. The 737-8 with, uh, with the capability of over 200 seats, uh, of which the FAA had certified uh, today uh, in the U.S. Uh, the 737-9 with 220 seats, and the 737-10 with up to about 230 seats. Uh, so a very nice lineup uh, to meet the growing demand of the increasing increased seat capacity of the uh, India domestic uh, flights. Next page. 